I shouldn't in. go there. Here we are. Uh, we've added a new cast member to the uh, Andy Asmodeus spinoff. Sure. Yeah. 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 Hey! Hey! It's just Mr. Nine Fingers. It just makes sense. Oh, yes. All right. <laughs> we, There's we a story that there. Here's what this is going to be about tonight. Yeah, the entirety. If my thumb looks large to anybody... Seems it's normal to me. No, Thanks, no, fellas. It's not Bye, usually guys. this size. Hey, thanks for the play on. Yes. <laughs> Loud and sweet, everybody! <laughs> um, so I was... You know, having a really wonderful morning here in Chicago, getting ready to come see all of you guys. Rosemont. And, uh, oh, right. Yeah, this isn't actually uh, Chicago. Illinois. <laughs> sure. And opened up my toiletry bag and just snagged my finger on my razor. Gross. I hope we don't have any squeamish people here, because this is what it looks like. No, I'm just kidding. Um, so that was how my morning started. How's your morning going? Fantastic. My morning started less blood squirting out okay. of my body for once. That's ideal. That's ideal. It is. My morning has been great. No, it's been great. I've met some wonderful people already. We sat around the table and talked and laughed and shared stories. <laughs> Are you changed as a person? Do you feel... Did you guys go on a journey together? We did. We went on a very deep and long journey together. And you seem different. I feel different. Yeah. With every person I meet, I feel different. <laughs> Can I just say, your beard is amazing. Isn't it? You have a big... Thanks, uh, Grant. Yeah, hey, 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 we're back at you. We're beard we're back at you. Fishing just for beard <laughs> compliments. I'm just because just... bearded guys meet, it's like, beard looks good. Your <laughs> beard looks good. Hey, uh, yours is, beard, bro. you know, it's good. coming in. It's it looks theoretical like it's at this point. <laughs> I have great beard potential. <laughs> so much beard potential. That Thank was the you. first thing I thought when I called my wife. You. Yeah. What? <laughs> Hello! Yeah. Hey! Windy City. What's going on? Um, so, oh, okay, hey, well, we have questions. Yeah, we should we... we should answer some questions <laughs> before we keep talking about beards. Sure, of all kinds. Of all kinds. <laughs> Existent and non. <laughs> Let's go. Hi. Hi. Oh. Hi. Oh, we're just going right side, I guess. Right side. Presumptuous. Go. This is for Gabriel. That's me. That's you. We've been seeing a lot of you on TV. Good. All of the commercials. Thank goodness. And oh. the very, <laughs> which one was the most fun for you to film? Oh my gosh. Okay. Uh, first of all, God bless commercials. Uh, there's nothing I won't sell you. Amen. I, I, you know, I, uh, if you, whatever your product is, uh, I don't want to know about uh, anything. Just uh, let's do it. Let's He'll do it. hawk it. Yeah. He'll hawk it yeah, for sure. Absolutely, wholeheartedly. Uh, <laughs> the most recent uh, that I really enjoyed was uh, the, the TurboTax. Yeah. Uh, oh, thanks, big fans. <laughs> big TurboTax people out there. Yes. 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 Of the commercial, just of TurboTax Turbo itself, <laughs> yeah. which as a product is really fantastic. Uh, but uh, because we did, it was, if you haven't seen it, it's a, a 1970s game show uh, themed spot, and they made my hair gigantic. Nice. Uh, and they added some sideburns that uh, were prodigious. They would make your guys' beards look like crap. Nonsense. <laughs> yeah. Nonsense. They had to shave off my existing sideburns because they're like, they, it'll insult the real sideburns that we're gonna add, I guess. Uh, so like, I was actually kind of, I, for the first time since I was 16, I had just like haircut up to here. Uh, but it, that was uh, that was my current favorite. Delightful. Also, really easy to remember the lines, as it was just the word free. <laughs> Was that just all improv? Yeah, well, you know, so uh, just to do a real deep dive on uh, a 30 second commercial uh, is a, so the, it's a game show and I would get clues and I would have to act, act out what it was to get my partner to guess it uh, using just the word free. Um, and they're like, okay, we got these stacks of real clues. Can we play it now? <laughs> we could. We could. Uh, but do you do the music? Yeah, yeah. Uh, what, okay. what's the music like? How's this go? Uh, just 70s yeah. game show porn. Game, yeah, yeah. Okay. You, you added a word at the end of that that I don't think was in there. 
70. Game show? You said game show. I did say that, but you added a word at the end. <laughs> nope, after that? Anyway, let's go. Let's play. All right. <laughs> Here we go. All right. Burp, 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 burp. This is all I know. Burp, 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 burp. Burp, burp, free. 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 Uh, um. Free! Free! <laughs> Guys, I'm so confused. Right? What's nope. That was it. You nailed it. Great. You did great. That was got fantastic. A, oh, I don't even know what it was. A live version. But I loved it. It's the Indian Aspo Day Show! <laughs> That's you. And me! <laughs> and me! <laughs> uh, yeah, how'd you prepare for that role? Did you go full method, or...? I did, in that I told him, don't give me the clues until we're running. Because I want to really do my best. <laughs> uh, you're like, no one talk to me before we shoot. I no, need no. this to be fully fresh. Yes, yes. <laughs> so, uh, there are some of those, some of those, that's the first time. Should we take wow. another question? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, I feel like this. I feel like we just morally responded to the TurboTax. <laughs> Hello. Hi. Uh, so you tweeted a few days ago asking for suggestions, and I never responded to that. For what? For for Chicago food. Oh yes. Oh. Yeah. Uh, I have a suggestion. Everybody said um, pizza. Is okay. it pizza? <laughs> no, it's not pizza. It's actually hot dogs. Uh, Gene and Jude's. Ooh. Yeah, right. so there we go. Okay. Yeah. All right. That awesome. side of the audience likes it. This is like hot dogs over there. Another hot dog place, Portillo's. They chop. <laughs> So, okay. So my, so my friend also told me to go to Portillo's and order an Italian beef. Yes! Yeah? And he said right. to get it dipped. Yes! Get it dipped. Yes! See, I follow directions. It's no big deal. <laughs> I, uh, I follow really uh, specific directions. Well. Can I ask a, a follow-up to you? Yes. Do you... It, um... Can you give me a solid defense of a deep dish pizza? Uh, because solid defense? No. To offense. Um, I don't like pizza. Okay, whoa, whoa, whoa! Okay, I, I got excited for a second because I thought you were saying something specifically about deep dish because I have issue with the deep dish. Uh, but you don't like pizza in general? No. Get out of my face. See, I'm from New York. I'm from New York, so I have to like stay out of the pizza debate. Oh okay, yeah, New York. Get, you'll get angry. I mean, I just, what I, I'm just not, in my head, calling it pizza, it's no. more like lasagna. Yeah. But with crust. <laughs> sure. It's lasagna like a bowl, with crust. It's a bowl of marinara, cheese, and meat. Which sounds delicious. Fine. I just, Don't call it pizza. I'm just not going to call it pizza. For me, because I'm a New York pizza snob. <laughs> Thank you. Should we take another question? <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so my question's for Vincent. Free, free, free. One time. Oh, amazing. One time. Free. Oh my god! Free. Amazing. Free. Free, free, free. Free, 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 free. Free, free, free. Oh my god, free, free. the sideburns are amazing. Free. 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 That's right. That was the one I missed. Free, free, free. free. Thanks. Brilliance. Yes. Brilliance. <laughs> um, that was incredible. Wasn't it? You were so good. <laughs> Thank you. Honestly, Thank you. I I bought every second of that. I appreciate that. It was deep. It yes. was not a deep dish. Not, not a deep dish. dish. That's garbage. Hey, I did a commercial. <laughs> yeah. Who pulled that up? Look, look, at um, look at this AV club over here, just crushing it. Look at, crushing for, it for, for Jack in the Box, two really big chickens. <laughs> yeah, and I did an Elio's Pizza commercial back in the day. I want that out there, too. Yeah. And then we'll get to the pizza commercial. But yeah, we, yeah. Uh, we, we did commercials. Yeah, we, well, I've done a commercial or two. Two really big chickens. Did a really great Volkswagen spot one time. <laughs> that was fantastic. <laughs> Took four days to shoot. The saying. I need to take a question up. while I was real. Heck, you just throw my reel up there. Go ahead. Okay, Gabe. <laughs> yes. I was like, 
He doesn't look that old, and that was shot a long time ago. <laughs> that is authentic. You aged very well. I do. I'm like Paul Rudd. So I'm a huge Sean Russell fan. Oh, cool. Besides Supernatural, that's all I watch. And you played a very bad guy yeah. on, on... Shocking. I know. Right? He had a heart of gold, though. But you had that accent. And oh, I want to yeah. know if the bad... If the character you played on Supernatural, if any of the similarities in your General Hospital character kind of bled into it. it almost you know felt, what? It almost felt like the same guy, but one had a Hispanic accent. <laughs> Just knows she's a puppy, by the way. A Southern accent. Uh, there, was, there was one episode and scene that it, uh, I felt like kind of sort of ushered in Asmodeus a little bit, and that was where I came back to haunt Will's character. I, I kind of dropped the accent and went just almost demonic with this thing. Has anybody else watched General Hospital? So, as you know... Not as many people who love TurboTax, apparently. <laughs> <laughs> it's not really fair. It's not really fair. <laughs> Shocking. A lot of times a character dies and they come back and they haunt people. That's so. But, oh, and then I came back to the twin brother. Oh, that's the dream. Boring, boring twin brother. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey. Oh, hey. Come on. Look at it. Let's see. Here we go. Ready? <laughs> yes. I don't know what you're doing. going on. Maybe you're the original really big chicken combo with curly fries and a drink for just $3.99. I remember what this. this. Oh, boy, yeah. Chicken combo with two chicken patties, bacon, cheese, and barbecue sauce. You also come with curly fries and a drink for three ninety nine. I have no idea what's going on. Just go with it. This director is a genius. Brilliant. Yeah, man. All right. All right. Now I feel left out. Yep. I did a commercial called Moonlighting. For Volkswagen. <laughs> I insist in a show. I demand it as well. I demand it! Woo! That'd be good. Uh, and it, while we're waiting for that to queue up, we'll take another question. <laughs> Anybody? Hey! Hi! Good to see you. You too. Um, so, I assume, if your characters were road tripping, I would assume that Aaron and Andy would go to Amsterdam. <laughs> and if you threw Asmodeus in there. <laughs> What shenanigans would take place? <laughs> I think we'd head straight to New Orleans. <laughs> oh dear. Get drunk right away. And somebody would end up missing. <laughs> Probably me. <laughs> Somehow. I feel like that road trip does not end well for us. No. <laughs> somebody. <laughs> I don't know if Andy ever makes it out of the van. <laughs> Take a little nap. Why would you say they go to Amsterdam? We our, our characters. Our characters. Oh, because your characters on Yeah, okay. Yeah, no, our characters love oh, pot. Gotcha. Our characters. <laughs> our characters enjoy marijuana, which is oh. illegal. Is it? Uh, no, no, I don't know what it what are the laws here in Illinois? Illegal. <laughs> Medicinal. Oh, yes, medicinal. Perfect. We can hear the quotation marks <laughs> as they <it> say <laughs> medicinal. Michigan, there we go. Is that. Yeah, oh, hey, hey, Michigan. <laughs> in the house. Michigan's in the house. Just in the back. You, Michigan stays in the back. But what about those TurboTax people, huh? <laughs> All right. Check in the box, big chickens. <laughs> I remember that spot. I really liked that spot at the time, oh, even more so now. Thank you very much. <laughs> yes, hello. Hi. Hi. My question's for the three of you. I'd like to know if there's any actor or director you'd love to work with. Ooh. Tons. Yeah, a lot. Aaron Sorkin. That was, I mean, I am such a West Wing dork. Uh, <laughs> uh, 
I, everything, I consume all sorts. I've been really into the, the podcast, the West Wing Weekly Podcast. I have uh, multiple West Wing Weekly Podcast t-shirts, and one of the most excited I've been was when I ran into uh, Rishi uh, Irway, one of the hosts of the show in real life, while wearing the t-shirts. They're like, you're the first person to ever recognize me. Yes, he was so delighted, because I was, I, I was the first First person you saw it with a t-shirt in the wild and listen it's cool we've got a hand signal for the west wing weekly it goes like this don't worry about it it's super cool this is wait like this this if you knew the show you'd know that episode they get it that right seems up here. like sort of it, oh. it's like the universal sign for on the way up it's yeah oh yeah on the way up <laughs> oh here's your commercial yes Telling you Wait, no, this is just me on oh, weeds. <laughs> I just decided all of us is coming to the hotel tomorrow, and those fuckers get hot. Oh, this is the weirdest commercial ever. Hey, yeah. It's for boxes. It's a big commercial for boxes. This is a commercial for a television show I did called Weeds. It's not a commercial, it's just a clip. And you know why? Because I make shit happen. <laughs> little, little did they know I curse like a sailor on that show. <laughs> I didn't think that that commercial would have as much cursing. Yeah, no, no, no. I wouldn't think Volkswagen would have you say fucking shit a lot, but... <laughs> you were unloading a Volkswagen. I yes, see. that was the whole... Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> it was a strange commercial. It was directed by Paul Thomas Anderson. Yes. But, uh, one that, all that's one of my directors. I yeah, same. Oh, yeah. Paul Thomas Sam's. Anderson. Yeah. Gaspar Noe. Yeah. Um, Darren Aronofsky is a big one. Oh, yeah. I can work so. with. There's so many. Oh, There's uh, so many. uh, Richard Spate Jr. Hope, <laughs> hope. Oh, oh. Matt Cohen. <laughs> yeah, oh, yeah. Check. Oh, check. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Done. <laughs> All right. Hello. Hi. Hi, guys. Nice stick. Thank you. Cool. Yeah. Good talk. <laughs> okay, good. Hi. Um, <laughs> uh, my question is, is what is the most interesting thing you've had to do, learn for a role? Oh. Uh, my lines. Most interesting. Uh, I had to uh, learn how to play guitar. Oh, really? Yeah. Did you have no knowledge? I had never touched a guitar before, and then for an audition, they were like, and can you play the guitar? And as all actors know, you go, yes! Yeah, yeah I do know how to play the guitar. And they're like, great. So then I got a call back, and they're like, bring your guitar, and play us a song. And so I literally like bought a guitar, <laughs> and, and for an entire 48 hours, which is on YouTube, like learning how to play the simplest two chord song, and then went in there and did it. Did Book the role, it was called, for a, role, uh, for a movie called uh, The Backup Plan. Jennifer, I'm sure big fans of The Backup Plan here. So much right. this area. Oh. Um, and uh, and then they ended up cutting that scene <laughs> because of your playing. Be no, okay. no. It turns out like I, bullshit. I was so nervous about it too because not only did they want me to play guitar, they wanted me to play Spanish classical guitar, which is like Ooh, la, la. the hardest French. guitar to play. It's like but it's sexy. Kind of thing. Yeah, it's sexy. Yeah, which yeah, I'm sure they didn't cut it because of the guitar. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> No, they said it was because it was all out of focus, oh, which oh. seems like oh, a yeah, good that excuse. Happens. That happens On a professional shoot. Uh, yeah. studio <laughs> film. They did! I <laughs> swear! <laughs> I, had to, uh, I had to learn the tango. Ooh. Ooh. I feel like... That was, that was a lot of fun. That feels right for you. Yeah, it did. It felt, it felt good. <laughs> That's on brand. Yeah. It was on, uh, you guys see The Detour? Anybody see The Detour on Ooh. TBS? Wow. Ooh. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah! I what about TurboTax, guys? What about TurboTax? Yes! <laughs> yes! <laughs> How about I, you, Gabe? You have to learn anything? Um, two, sorry, two part. One is for a friend of mine. He had to pretend to be from Ireland to get the part, like, as the voice of Guinness. They're like, we only want to hear people from Ireland. He's this big, loud New York guy who's not from Ireland. Uh, but he's like, I'm gonna, I'm gonna learn it. But he found out he could only, only speak with an Irish accent Real, real quiet down here, and so he would just go in and he got the job. He, he got, got the job, but he would always be like, 
hey, how's it going, Guinness? Bye. <laughs> See you later. Leave. Just like, and just like, don't, never chatted with them. Because if it was, I'd be like, it's Guinness, it's the shit. I love it. <laughs> oh, Guinness. Oh. Um, but then one day, like, he ends this great job, uh, and then he's got it for like a couple of years, and then they decide to bring in these two guys from uh, Ireland, from Dublin. Like to come in and do like big famous Dublin actors coming in to do the shoot with him, and he hid in the bathroom <laughs> while they did their part. He's like on the phone with his dad, saying like, "What, what do I do? Oh, what do I do?" Uh, you know, and he's, like, and he's like, "Stay in the bathroom. <laughs> so, like, never leave. Never ever." And uh, yeah, the that they because he's like they started they saw him and they're like, "Oh, where, where are you? Where are you from?" He's like. Ugh. Dublin. I'm like, oh, this street? He's like, I gotta pee. <laughs> but then for me, uh, you know, the, the first thing that comes to mind, other than somebody else's story, uh, is I learned that, so I did a commercial where they had to hang me upside down uh, in a straight jacket, uh, and they called me beforehand, they're like, hey. Sounds like a Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> and they're like, you're into that, right? Uh, and I was like, w what? And they're like, yeah, it'd be fine. And so I went to, I'm like, well, let me check. And I just, I went over to my bed and I, I leaned over <laughs> like this. And I'm like, yeah, that feels fine. Yeah, yeah, tell them I can do it. Totally do it. Um, it's different. <laughs> you know, you see it in movies all the time. Not all the time. These kinds of movies. No, in uh, like in like. Uh, I had to do it I once. Think, yeah. Okay, so like yeah. the, that, like people get tortured, like they get hung upside down, and then, then they get uh, questioned, uh, and you see it all the time, and it doesn't look pleasant, but right. you don't realize how truly awful it is. Yeah. And, like, cause you're all the blood is rushing your head. You've got like maybe one take. Maybe two. And did uh, they come and like lift you up after every take? So that was the thing. Yeah. So then they had to lower. So I was, I was a good. Like I was up there, uh, in, in a straight jacket, showing how easy it is to set up this computer. They even do it hanging upside down in a, oh uh, in a straight jacket. This was for Clearwire, high speed internet, straight jacket. Um, <laughs> yeah, where's that Volkswagen commercial? <laughs> Oh yeah, you did a Volkswagen commercial. I really did! <laughs> yeah. Fucking Volkswagen! <laughs> Fucking Volkswagen, they're the shit! <laughs> uh, so I was doing it on the day, and it was miserable, but it, it's the only time I've ever raised my voice at a director, because we would do a take, and at some point I was like, doing a take, and just blood rushing to my head, throbbing, and then the director and the client just like started debating about, and like, I don't know about the shot, I mean, what should guys. we do, we should do it, like, Guys, can you just wrap this up? And then I threw it, I don't know, gosh, what should we do? I'm like, guys, we really need to get me out of here. It was miserable. Anyway, that's uh, why I learned that about myself. Should we, should we take another question? Yeah. I just wanted to start off by thanking.